previously on Minecraft with Kevon. Oh, that might have been a bad throw. Oh, I'm fucking scared. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I was plan shooting by, but oh no. Okay, okay, dudes. No. Oh. <laughs> I was clenching my butt cheek so hard on that throw, like I was not confident at all. Now the question is, do I want to continue risking my life like that? Like, do you guys enjoy watching me suffer and uh, clench my butt cheeks every time I throw an enderpearl like that, or do you guys not care? So, oh man. <laughs> oh, I think we found it, guys. I think we found it. Yeah, this is definitely what I'm looking for. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, there it is. Oh my god, just kill this guy. Come on, dude. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. In the last episode, we finally found our Elytra wings. Luckily, it took forever, but we found them. And in this episode, we're actually going to start doing some of the basic stuff. Where we, I want more farms. <laughs> because we literally have nothing besides this cow farm. We need some wheat farms. Yeah, okay, it's nighttime. We need some wheat farms. Some carrot farms, it's, this is mostly more for trading than anything else and more to breed um, pretty much all the animals that we'll be getting. And I kind of have a general idea of how I want to make these buildings, or this farm I guess I should say. Like I do want to make it all aut automated for the most part, um, but as far as how I want to build it, I think I want to build like a, um, a skyscraper kind of. Not too tall, not too, not too tall. I mean exactly that not too tall and not too large either but yeah it'll probably take some time I know, I know this thing is gonna take me forever so I might as well start, start building some other thing because the lack of course it's just too much and I'm still kind of learning how to use the the fireworks with the elytra wings I'm kind of getting the hang of it um, let me see up oh, there oh. yeah it's nope oh. oh there we go oh we got it for a second okay well, that works too, but <laughs> I wasted all my level 2 fireworks, but um, as you can see, pretty much with the elytra wings, you can just fly up as far as you want, and the only limitation is, of course, that this does have durability, which is why we want the mending on it, and in turn, we do want the mending from one of the villagers, which is hard to get, so that... I'm thinking about just putting uh, a lectern in here and seeing what, what comes out. So, I'm probably going to do that. Um, yeah. So, we're going to get started. We do still have our, our our little orgy of... Yeah. This. This. We're just going to call it that. Our little orgy of the cows. We also want to get some sheep. And the sheep... Speaking of sheep. we have. I know we have a little pen over there which is kind of useless. Pigs? Pigs aren't so useful. All they really drop is the... What's it called? The pork chops, I, I believe. So it's, it's, it's not so good. Um, and then we have chickens, which could also be well. They drop feathers, but really we won't be using feathers outside. The only thing I could think of that use feathers is the arrows. But I mean... If you just take a look down here into our little chest of droplets, we pretty much have like an infinite amount of, yeah, arrows. Well, I know there's not that much in this chest, but I actually cleared out all the gunpowder because to make all these, <laughs> I might have went a little overkill. These do last a little bit, but I need to get used to everything. It seems like we killed a few witches here and there. Some sticks. Yeah. So... Let's get started with building that. We're actually going to build it out of some concrete or concrete powder, I guess. But we need to mine out a huge area. I'm thinking about building it towards this side of the mountain since mostly everything we've done is kind of heading towards this way. So, yeah, give me a second and I'll begin doing that. 
And we're back, kind of. Um, I, I've been gathering some resources, like a lot. I, I think I'm gonna go with the smooth stone look. I'm gonna build a skyscraper, kind of smooth stone, a bunch of glass, and uh, let's see, where is it? A bunch of the not quartz, bone blocks, because they look pretty similar to the quartz, which I, are beautiful. So they're not exactly the same, but. You can tell I like the quartz a little brighter than the block, bone block, but it's alright, you know. It'll make, I think it'll look nice once it's finally done, but we need to pretty much grind a bunch of, a bunch of material. I need so much smooth stone, like I've been grinding that for a while now. And actually this guy, I've been training with some villagers for a while also. I kind of put up some lecterns and uh, brewing stands, just put it randomly. Just so I could get some guys, uh, this guy's pretty okay. Um, he trades the Ryan Flesh and gives you emeralds, which is a really good one. He also has... Oh look, he actually lowered the price for the rabbit's foot. He has Glowstone, which is fantastic. Um, the Scoot, I believe you only get from turtles, and I don't think I'll be getting turtles anytime soon, so that's kind of out of the question. This is a terrible trade, and pearls we can get them like snowbound. This one's actually a really good one. Well, at least a decent one. Net 21 Nether Wart for an emerald. It's not great, but it's it's not bad. So it's a it, it's a fair one. I'll I'll take it. And the bottle of enchanting. So he's about average, an average guy. Um, the toolsmith. He has a pretty good, decent ones as well. He has a flint, which is actually great. If you get a a a fortune shovel, pretty much you can get a bunch of flint and just kind of trade indefinitely. But he does have these, so he has a bunch of enchanted tools. I wish we could get the diamond hoe. Look at that, that's so cheap. One emerald for a diamond hoe. Like, I wish you could uncraft it so you could get all the diamonds, because that would be absolutely amazing. Um, he, he does have the diamond pickaxe. Unbreaking 2 is okay, it's not terrible. Unbreaking 3 on the shovel, which is pretty decent. Um, however, if you have a grind so I, I believe that that's what it's called, or something, I, I can't remember what the exact name is, but it pretty much disenchants your, your weapon thing, it gives you the XP as well as an unenchanted pickaxe, so that is actually pretty good. It's, I'd say it's a little pricey, 18 emeralds, but it's, it's not terrible, that's pretty much an infinite way to get, um, diamonds, essentially. This one, I've been training with a lot. He has probably his best one, paper and the book. However, this one is a really good one. The book and quill. Pretty much all you need is a book, a feather, and an ink sack. So that's why you can see all of these. And then we have a name tag, which is also pretty good. On breaking three, that's that's pretty decent, I'd say. Projectile protection four. Also kind of a meh. And curse of binding, which is kind of yeah, it's it's not really that good. It's kind of terrible actually. <laughs> But, um, then this guy, I'm still leveling up, um, uh, oh, he does have ink sacks, so we're gonna go ahead and plop that in, let's see, level up, yes, I need to, like, separate these guys, cause they get all mixed up, um, ooh, he had more ink quills, and a compass, not so great, impaling four, that is super pricey, oh my god, 51 emeralds, yeah, that's terrible, Oh man, they spawned an iron golem! Holy crap! Hi! Oh crap, actually I, I heard one of the villagers, so I'm kinda scared about that. <laughs> so we'll start laying out the basic foundation for it for now. It's not gonna be a huge build in... I don't know, it should be like 8x8 I believe. So, we'll start at the edge right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 7, 8. I believe that's... That's as far as we need for water to flow. Let me just make sure. Um, put this right there. Yes, yes. Okay, maybe that, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> but over here, we're kind of just going randomly. So yeah, eight right there. That is essentially how big we want it. And we want another eight by eight. Essentially, we want the... Here, I need grass, actually. What am I doing? I should probably go to sleep for this. Yes. Sorry I killed your buddy. Oh look, there's Iron Golem. That's so exciting, honestly. Like, I feel like I should make an Iron Golem farm, but... I don't know if we'll be able to. Yeah, you guys want more? There you go. Yes? 
Oh, I know you guys are staring at each other. Oh, did I intrude into? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, now they want to have an orgy. Are you guys gonna have an orgy? Orgies? Orgy party? Yes? Yes? No? Mm. Yes? Oh, I, I don't think. Oh, there we go. So beautiful. God, you're amazing. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna want a few layers of pretty much the wheat farms, the, I don't know if we need potato, the carrot, and I don't think we'll do any of uh, the pumpkin or the melon farms on this, this particular building, but yeah, for now, I think we'll just stick to the regular, like, I mean, besides sheep, farm, sheep, pretty much all that mob farms and the, um, what's it called, the basic regular farm, so carrots and the wheat is what we need the most pigs use the carrots and then yeah so we're gonna want a few levels in between the first level is gonna be just the opener so there's not gonna be much it's gonna be mostly an open space so we're gonna go ahead and leave three blocks of space open next we're gonna have the i believe the cow farm so this will be one farm right here we're just gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna want another two a two space two block space for the sheep farm and then after that we're gonna want another two two space just so we can fit and everything and we're gonna want a up here we're gonna want to start with the carrots we're gonna go ahead and extend these eight blocks wide and eight blocks in lanes so we're gonna do one two three four one two three four I, I don't know what I'm doing it's all right I believe that's it maybe one more probably shouldn't have started this lower so here you know what we have these for a reason and we did not use them we are terrible <laughs> okay okay here we go so we're just gonna go ahead and fill all these up this is where the water is gonna be essentially to kind of stops in the soil pretty much water it and everything keep it fertilized and we're gonna extend eight blocks to the right not that side that is where the water is gonna be the full okay so let's go ahead start i was exploring a bit and happened to run into this this is actually fairly close next to our base um if we take a look at the f3 it's only about three, four hundred blocks away, so I mean, it's it's really not too far away from our base, huh? Um, it's unfortunate that's so close, cause <laughs> these things never stop spawning, if I recall correctly. I actually, I actually killed one one guy. That's why you see the the bad omen effect on the top right hand corner. But if we go on in here. I actually delete, defeated the guy with a banner, so that's why I actually have it. We have just some little huts here and there. I have a chest up here with nothing too good. Yeah, I take the iron. Yeah, everything else is kind of garbage. Crossbow. Um, oh look, there's one of them. Yep. So pretty much defeating one of these guys kind of triggers the battle win effect. So. Which we might want to actually trigger. I actually, speaking of, I actually got a mending guy. So that's great. Oh god, this guy actually is pretty strong. I got a guy, a tr villager with one of the mending books, which I'm super excited about. However, his current traits are super expensive. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. It should be like 22 emeralds for an, a book for the mending. It, it's actually mending. Yeah, just mending. But right now he's like way overpriced. So let's, maybe we can go there and see what's going on. I actually started building this up a little bit more. And there we go. Here comes the raid. Good. I actually wanted this to happen. But um yep, they're all they're all scared. <laughs> they're like run for your life. But yeah, this guy, 22 emeralds for a mending book. However, he's being like super expensive right now and for he's at 42, which is absurd. So I'm hoping like defeating this raid will like kind of lower the price a bit. No, oh, maybe I should just close the door for that. But it'd be a good idea to 
put on my uh oh yep yeah we definitely want some more armor on this yep this is also a good way to like farm up some more emeralds so yeah hopefully they'll be appreciative when i defeat this this raid and lower the freaking prices because oh my god it's ridiculous oh and there he is thomas the train i was awaiting your your arrival it's all right though you're not as bad as you were before okay so he did actually reduce his prices a little bit so that's actually pretty good i mean it's not it's not great but it's still pretty decent 21 21 emeralds and a book for a mending book i say that's pretty good i want to get that asap on pretty much everything so i need to grind some especially the light draw the light draw is the one concern i have all right so actually the way i was able to get this guy it, it didn't take too long it took about like maybe two three minutes pretty much i would just keep breaking the um what's it called i don't even know what they're called the lectern what was that they, oh, they threw stuff at me. Look, they gave me, they gave me redstone. Oh, how cute. Thank you, guys. I know you guys think I'm your hero and everything. I'll make sure to put up these ominous banners. <laughs> and so, like I was saying, uh, you just break the lecterns pretty much over and over until you get some decent books. There were some decent ones that I thought about keeping. There was a Fortune 3 one, I know that. Um, an unbreaking one. And they were all tempting, but... I the main thing I wanted was this guy, so we're gonna go ahead and trade two of these because I need I need so many of these. Like this this thing is literally the best thing. I, look, give me books. Ah, thank you, thank you. I wonder if the other guy. What are you guys? So, yeah, so yeah, some of these are, have pretty decent trades. I'll make sure to like trade the um, trade it for some emeralds. Oh my god, look at this! Sixteen nether wart for an emerald. That's pretty good. Uh, this is still more expensive as hell. I don't know why you're so expensive. Okay, the plant's pretty good. I definitely see myself breaking some more. Diamond hoe is so expensive. I remember it was one like not too long ago, and now you're just like chipping out on me. Still pretty decent tools. Um, so yeah, let's see what you got. Okay, that's that's actually really good. Oh my god, it's too bad he he's like locked out because can't create anything sorry i had a little hiccup right there damn this, this is a guy that i want to trade with i wish he would increase his nether his course his course block trades that would be good okay so let's go ahead i think the main things we want to is this it, it, yeah it doesn't yeah we want our boots like as good as we can honestly like with the more trades we get the more will actually so mending only three fantastic now these are pretty much unbreakable as long as you don't use them too much it actually almost started getting halfways so this one's almost dead so that's actually great um let's see what else can we get okay so now we can continue with that Oh my sweet baby Jesus, look at this. <laughs> one emerald and one book for an infinity. Oh my god. Two books for an emerald. <laughs> this is this is crazy. Three ink sacks. Okay. Oh my god, this guy just keeps getting cheaper and cheaper. Don't mind if I do, buddy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Like, look at this. We already repaired our entire diamond boots. <laughs> that is absurd. <laughs> and we're back again. So I started kind of building this a little bit more. As you can see, there's the layers are done and all the water and everything and placement of the blocks is for the most part done. The basic functionality is kind of essentially established. I still need to like plant everything and put the redstone in, which I have all in here. So if we just take a look in here, we have everything for the most part that we'll need. We just need eight of these. We need some redstone dust, some repeaters. We need a bunch of like redstone light actually. Lanterns actually, I've been lighting the place with lanterns and I think it looks okay. I've been doing it kind of like this randomly in every layer. So that way it still has a functionality of the farm and you can 
still light up without like worrying about mobs spawning. So yeah, we're gonna need eight buckets of water. So let's just bring those out. And a bunch of blocks of course. We use uh, some rails to kind of bring up the cows and the sheep that are up there. Rails and leads for the most part. That's an easy way to kind of fix it. Block of iron. Because we need more iron. I don't know what else we need. Um, bunch of pheasants, fences for the for all the mobs and everything. Um, chests, of course. Soul sand, which we'll use shortly. This is mostly just for the elevator that I'll be building after everything's complete. Just give us an easy way up and down the pretty much the entire building. And of course, scaffolding is always good to have. Your iron, your hoe. This one happens to be iron, which actually might run out. I don't know if I killed that dude that had like the iron hoe, I mean the diamond hoe, because that would be a really good trade. One emerald for a diamond hoe, that's pretty good. And here we just have a bunch of building blocks that we use for the exterior of the building. But I think that's about all we need really for at least this basic part. So now we're actually going to go ahead and start tilling all the soil. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how essentially this this farm will work. I kind of started planning some just to see if it would actually like work because I don't remember if they fixed the whole if you had to have a certain light level in order to actually be able to plant crops. So, oh that's what I need actually. Some seeds. That would probably be useful. I don't know why I got these in here but hey. Should I make out a diamond? Is it worth wasting diamonds on a hoe? Like no. That is the golden rule of Minecraft and in life. You never waste diamonds on a hoe, okay? So if anybody ever tells you, like, if you have a hoe and, yeah, you know, she has for diamonds, you always tell her no. Yes, yeah, valuable lesson, I know. I'm just gonna do a little run test. So essentially, here, let's block this off too, actually, before I forget. This way, oh, and we fell. <laughs> so, yeah, essentially what we're gonna wanna do, since it's only seven blocks, and water travels at eight blocks. It will bring the water flow all the way down here and then splash it on here. Then cause a waterfall effect all throughout the building. I do probably need to like probably put a wall here that way all the stuff doesn't fall off the ledge. Then it'll do the same on here, go to this way, etc. etc. all the way down. Alrighty, now that everything is planted for the most part, uh, we do want a general collection area. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just extend this a bit. Just, um, yes, there you go. Okay. And this is only temporary, these little blocks right here. Just so I can f face the coppers towards this way. So break this and then we just kind of want that, that. Can we actually put... Mm, mm, I'm thinking now. Do we want... I forgot to cover this one up. Okay, do we want... To continuously drop it down one and put it right on top of the fence? Or do we want to keep it like this and build like this? I think we're going to want to drop it down one. Just because it'll be a little bit easier. Yeah, I think we're going to do that, so... Yep, um, then we just go ahead and do this. Okay, so this, this is new. The whole like being able to build right next to each other. Because before you wouldn't be able to put a chest right next to another double chest. Because they would just like mess things up and everything. But now you can, so that's great. Do we want this like right on top of us? Or, eh, it should be fine, why not? Right? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, now. That doesn't look terrible. It looks actually okay. It looks like a little. You know actually what that reminds me of? Triforce from Legend of Zelda. It looks actually pretty similar, I should say. Um, but we're going to go ahead and yeah, just keep it like this. Why not? Don't look too bad, right? We could, of course, like, fake it out and put some stuff in front of it, which we are going to do. We're going to want at least two or three blocks to the side and to the front to the back which is actually why I took down the LeBron James's basketball court so it's unfortunate but I don't think he's ever coming back I think he retired okay so I went AFK for probably longer than I should have so everything should be grown up here um, I went 
JFK for, for a good like hour or two, so I'm hoping that everything is nice. So yeah, it looks like everything's going. So should be good to like just pretty much start doing all the rest of stuff. So um, we're just gonna go ahead and lay out some blocks to put all the redstone stuff on, and a little platform as well. Front two, okay. Plop this down. At least two spaces. Probably three actually. Okay. There's that, and we're gonna want to put a repeater on every single one. You just put redstone, but I mean, this is a little easier since it block powers up block directly. And redstone dust, following all those. And we just want to put a torch elevator. But, for the sake of testing this and hoping that it doesn't, since it's gonna power it anyways when we place down the torch, we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna put this right over here. So there's that. Yep. Yeah, I know that someone is gonna fall on the edge. That's why we need the little guardrails. Okay. So far, not too bad. They got stuck a little bit, but it's alright. Um, alright. We'll let this go for just a little longer. And we'll start doing the torch elevator that I was talking about. So, pretty much this is a it's pretty easy all you gotta do is just put a torch right there then a torch on the other side and followed by torches all the way down so mm -hmm. so what have you guys been up to honestly there's one game in particular that i've been wanting to play for quite some time now and i've been like watching some gameplay of it of some other youtubers and honestly it looks so much fun and i do want to make a let's play for it and that game is the legend of zelda the ocarina of time sorry alarm all of a sudden um i do want to play that soon that is one game that i truly loved playing as a kid and would love to play now if time permits and i do want to make an eventual let's play of it so that should be fun and that should be something you guys should look forward to whenever i get the chance to get an, either like an emulator or a nintendo 64 which would probably be the emulator honestly because there's no way I could be able to make that work. Okay. But yeah, that's one of the games in my bucket list currently that I want to play. For sure, The Last of Us when it comes out, The Last of Us Part 2. And maybe the Part 1, I'll do another Let's Play of it here. But for sure, the second one. That's one game I've been dying to play since it came out like years ago. Such a good game. Okay, like that, like so, put that right there, and I think that should be fine. Okay, it looks like it's perfect. Yep, it's right perfect, okay. But aside from that, we're just gonna want to put a lever down here, and that's pretty much all there is to it. We just flip the lever whenever we want it to work, and whenever it's up, it's off, and whenever it's down, it's on. I know it's kind of weird to put it that way, but hey, it is what it is. So. Let's go check it out to see if everything got collected. It looks like it did. It looks like it's still collecting stuff, so that's good. Now, to replant, we're going to have to go through the entire process pretty much with a hoe, seeds, and the carrots. Yep, we just go up here and replant everything. So the first like five layers are wheat seeds. We just go ahead and we bring the hoe because as you'll see in just a moment, pretty much every time we drop down to the next level, we pretty much break the break the soil. So yeah, we're gonna want to do probably something about that. I'm not sure what a good fix would be. So yeah, there is. I'm pretty sure there is. Well, there is actually a lot of better like farms and more automated, which are more efficient. But for now, this one actually probably looks the best in my world, just because I want a more vertical. Hmm. There we go. And we are probably going to want a way to get out of here. So maybe right here. I don't know. So yeah, even after we har harvesting and replanting everything, we're left with all this, which is a good amount of stuff. Um, the, the carrots weren't all fully planted. So, I mean, that's a good amount. We'll definitely be able to get a surplus of it and be able to get a bunch of our farms going. But now we're actually going to start building the outer shell of what we're trying to make. So... That'll take some time. Um, I'm actually gonna start the the water elevator here shortly. Let me just uh, get some buckets. So yeah, next thing we're gonna want to do is build the elevator, and I think we're gonna want to make it out of glass, just that way we can actually be out of it. And I'm thinking probably the 
gray stained glass would probably be better. It's a good thing I have to touch, otherwise that wouldn't have happened. So we're just going to want to make a bunch of this. Perfect. And that should be enough. And pretty much all you need to do to make a water elevator is a bunch of water, of course. Who worse. So yeah. We're just going to go ahead and build up like a block right there. Block right there. Yes. For now, we'll leave it close. Oh my god, you see what I mean? There you go. Okay. So yeah. You want to fill this up with water blocks, pretty much every single one, and it'll drop down all the way. We're actually not going to want to go in there because we do not have water breathing, but that's pretty much the general idea. We're going to want to bring it down one block, one more than this, so one more right there, and then we're going to want to put our soul sand. And this pretty much gives it the bubbly effect, which right now you probably won't see. You'll see maybe in this first one. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's uh, honestly all there is really is to it to a bubble e elevator. You just gotta make sure that like the entire things are. As you can see, you can't go down there because it pushes you up. And yeah, the, with the more water blocks you get, source blocks I should say, the more to watch. I'll see you in just a moment. And that should be essentially all there is to it. We'll actually make an entrance and everything for it right here. Just put some blocks and whatnot. Um, yeah. Just do this for now, just to cover it up. There you go. That shouldn't overflow. I don't know. Okay, maybe it, maybe it does anyways. Okay. For now, we're going to leave it. But uh, essentially, yeah, this is all you got to do. Just as long as they're all water sources, the very top one is in, as you can see. That's what happens whenever you pretty much don't do them all. So we're just going to have to do that. And put one right here, and I think that should fix it. There... Yeah, and that's all there really there is to it to make a, a water elevator. All you gotta do is just make sure everything's a source block, and then put some some soul sand at the very bottom. And yeah, you just flow all the way up. I'm not pushing the space button or anything, so it's just doing it by itself, launching me up, and we're up here. Now that everything, all the functionality is pretty much done, we can actually begin working on the case and making this look nice and. I think we're actually gonna do that in the next episode because I am running low on time and I just I just saw how long this episode is already so we're gonna go ahead and end things off here and actually start building next time and work a little bit more with the villagers we do got everything we need we but we do want to move these guys over here I did mine up a bunch of uh, nether quartz that we want to use for ne next time so that should help us just a bit more in progressing with that but yeah, that's going to be about it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.